Hi guys, today we're gonna do how to curl your hair with medium length hair. Some people may think that this is already long hair, but for me, I have had it up to my, almost my butt, so this is pretty much short hair for me. But uh, usually people call this medium length hair. So today I have the Kardashian Beauty hair ironer, strainer, not sponsored. I bought this with my own money about a year ago. I have had it since then and it has been great. It reaches up to 420 Fahrenheit. That's pretty hot. And, but I usually use it in 380. Most that I use it has been 400 when, when I really want my hair to be super straight. I did already iron my hair a little bit because my hair was a mess when I woke up. After I took a shower last night and washed my hair and went to sleep with my hair wet, you guys know how you wake up with your hair. Even if your hair is pretty straight, you still wake up with like pretty wavy hair or like, you know, the whole mess. So I'm just going to curl my hair today. Um, I'm going to do kind of a wavy curl. It's not going to be ringlets or anything like that. It's going to be more of a loose type of curl. I already preheat my iron. I'm going to start with the bottom of my hair. Just around like by the top of your ear. You can leave these out right now. Or you can just put them back however you want. I'm going to do them now. I just put it in a ponytail and I do have bangs as well so my bangs are just gonna stay straight and I am going to curl around my um, hairline but I'm not going to curl my bangs because I'm just gonna that's just gonna look weird in my opinion some people might like that it's fine um, some people might um, like to curl it this way so it kind of hides into your hair that could be a useful trick when you don't want to have bangs in your face. That's good, but I'm, I'm not going to do that um, right now. I'm going to take pretty big sections here because I am in a little bit of a hurry. So I'm just going to curl it like whatever. It's not going to be super perfect. It's going to be more of a messy curl kind of look. First, before using heat, you always have to protect your hair. I use this all the time, it's super great. It makes your hair so shiny and it does do a really good job of what's supposed to protect your hair from heat. Um, it's the BTZ, Beyond the Stone. Um, turn up the heat, flat iron protection. I started using this because my mom, she's a hairstylist and she got this from Sally's. You can get this in Sally's. It's like maybe around five to seven dollars around i might just put a picture somewhere with the price so you can see how much it costs but it's pretty good it's like an oily base it's not like others that are like just it feels like water in your hair and i don't like that it keeps your hair from getting frizzy too i feel like i already put some in my hair uh, when i iron my hair but i'm just gonna put more as i go into the pieces because my hair is damaged and I don't want it to get more damaged. I'm just going to spray it onto my fingers and I just like rubbing it and then going like combing through the hair with my fingers so it doesn't get super oily. You do have to be careful with this product because if you use too much of it, your hair will look uh, like oily, like you haven't washed it in two weeks. So I do like just to put it at the ends of my hair. And these pieces here, these need a lot of hydration at least for me because these are the pieces that you iron the most because you want them to be like super stick flat when you um, strain your hair. And these pieces for me are super damaged. So I do like to put like a little bit of extra there from the roots down because those pieces are just they break off <laughs> as they pull on them. It's ridiculous. So now we're gonna go in. I'm gonna take these first. I am looking at the mirror right behind me. That's what I'm gonna use as a guide to go through 
so excuse me if I'm not looking right at the camera um, so I'll not put it so close to my um, scalp but more like to the ends and just give it a twist I'll try to do it slowly but not too slow because I don't want to burn my hair off I'm actually gonna put the heat down to 360 and it does light up a little green light and when it stops blinking it's when the temperature is the the temperature you want there you go it stopped blinking so it's a 360 now I'm gonna take the hair so I want to do it away from my face so I'm going to pull the iron this way and just pull really and just pull and there you go it's a little loose curl and the hair that is the most damaged is the hair that is gonna take the hardest to curl it's gonna be hard to curl those, those damaged little pieces so I don't worry too much about these pieces I'm not gonna go over them 300 times unless they come out super bad so I just go from where it's parted down taking a pretty big section I'm gonna comb it again I think I'm gonna take a smaller section actually this one I'm also gonna do away from my face just because it's still so close to the front of my face so I'm gonna start doing it alternative after this one this one I got pretty close to my scalp so you want to let it go before you get to the end let me pull this piece back so you can see that that little piece right there is straight the last little piece is not gonna be super curly it's just gonna be straight and I like to do it from this side down or up however you want to grab your hair because it just gives you like a good you know it's not like super skinny I guess I don't know, I'm gonna try to do it just this way, like straight across. How I have seen some people do it, but I like to do it from up down. I'm just gonna do it straight and see how that turns out. Maybe it turns out okay, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do this one this way. That one turned out pretty good. Okay, whatever, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> but I don't know, I feel like it's more of a, I don't know how to explain it. Like a, Viral, instead of more like a ringlet that it's just like a little skinny thing it's more it's you can use more hair but it's not gonna it's all gonna hit the iron if that makes sense I don't know If the first time that you try this, it doesn't come out exactly how you want it or as a pretty curl, don't get discouraged. It did happen to me the first few times I watched tutorials on how to curl my hair this way and I could not get it the first few times and I felt like I was just burning my hair. That's why you have to use a good heat, uh, hair protector. But do not get this encouraged the first few times because it is going to be hard. The more you do it, the more you practice, the better you're gonna get. Trust me, because that did happen to me and it was so annoying at first. But I did get it down and I mean, I still messed up. I'm not perfect. I still get a few bad curls while I'm doing it. And if you do get a bad curl, just leave it, let it cool off. I sometimes don't even do that because I'm in a hurry but just if you can um, just let it cool off and then go back in 
and do it the same way that you did it the first time. Like if you did it away from your face the first time, the second time do it away from your face too. That's important because then your hair is just going to get kinky and ugly and it's going to look horrible. I have done it. <laughs> So I just took more of the heat protectant and just pass it through. So like I was saying, just be patient the first few times you do it and don't go over the same section again and again because it's just going to burn your hair. And also, if you're going to do something for the first time, don't do it when you're going to go somewhere. Like you have to go to a party, to a wedding, you know, somewhere you have to be like presentable for. When you have to, when you have like an hour or two to go somewhere, <laughs> just don't do it. Do it the night before, even if you have to do it again, or not the night before, maybe like a week before. And then when you have to go to the place, you'll know if you're able to do it, if you have it, you know, down. Just make sure you have the technique down before you actually use it to go out somewhere. Because <laughs> your hair just, you're going to be frustrated and you're just going to want to pull it up in a bun or something. Again, out of experience. I've always done that. I go, I have maybe like two hours to do my hair and my makeup and everything. Um, and I just decide, oh, I'm gonna do something fancy with my hair today. And I just go on Google, on YouTube and oh, hair, pretty hair tutorials, whatever. And it's it, it's something that I've never done before, but I wanna do it. And I just start and then like my boyfriend is like, hurry up. Like you've been doing your hair for two hours and you're not done. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know how to do this. And then I just end up doing like, nothing to it and just pull it up in a ponytail or a bun or something and just do my makeup really fast and we have to go <laughs> out of experience guys like seriously don't do it <laughs> See, this is what happens when your hair is really damaged. I'm just gonna leave it for last. This is not gonna be perfect. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I just want it to be a little bit curled. Where's my scrunchie? I lost it. I lose everything. Well, I'm just gonna use... <sighs> I know myself. I knew I was gonna need this. And I just got it in advance so I didn't have to get up again. So the front pieces, you're always, always, always going to do it away from your face don't do it at, like towards your face because it's just going to look like a kinky thing like on your face right there unless that's where you're going for it. i don't know these front pieces are very important because it's what people are gonna see for the first time you know the back people look at you from the back and if it's a little messy whatever but like the front it's very important so away from the face, that was cute, okay. Did I put heat protectant? Oh my God, I didn't. Heat protectant. <sighs> Two pumps because I forgot. <laughs> 
Oh my god, the front piece. They didn't get heat protected. I don't want to curl something that's already curled, so I'm trying to be very careful because I'm not really looking at the back of my head. When it gets stuck, you can also do that, like if you're pulling, don't pull too hard because you're going to break your hair, so just let go and then continue where, where you left off, basically. So try to never pull your hair because it might, since it's already heat on it, there's heat on it, so if you pull on it, it might break off. Like I have seen videos, you have seen the videos of the girl curling her hair like right here and she's just there and then she gets it and then like it's... It's on the iron, like, mm, no, that's not what happened to me. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna do the top of my hair. So you part it where you want your hair to lay. I think I'm just going to leave it down the center. It's not really a straight line. I look like a mess right now. I'm gonna brush this. So hair protectant. Whatever is left over, I can also just go like that and put it on the ends. So I'm going to take my bangs. I'm just going to pick them up and clip them to the side. You guys, my camera stopped recording when I was doing the top of my hair. So I did that off camera. Um, it will run out of battery. I'm so sorry. But I just... Curled, I kept my bangs up and I curled the front of my face away and the rest I was just doing the alternative curl. So then I used this Tresemme Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I just shake it. This is obviously to give some volume. My hair is clean but I do like using this to give it some volume. So I just grab my hair up um, couple sprays, not too much. So on the roots right there, like massage it in. Everywhere on the back. You can also um, tease your hair if you want to, but I don't do that to my hair. I don't think it's good for your hair, so I don't do that. But if you want to, you can do that, obviously, with your hair. So I use this, and then you can use any hairspray. I use the Tresemme hairspray. This is just all day humidity resistance. Good for frizzy hair and humidity. I live in Florida, very humid here. 
so this is good for me. Um, and I already sprayed it in my hair. I couldn't film that or the camera didn't film that, but I already sprayed it. I just pulled my hair up and just spray it just like that and then like squeeze it. I'm actually just gonna use a little bit. Just like open up your hair. So it goes through all your hair and then like give it give it a little squeeze. Same on this side. That gives it also volume when you open up your hair so it brings it out. If you want, you can put it closer to the roots, but I'm not gonna do that. So it just fix the little pieces that you have around. I'm gonna do it to the back too. Shake it a little bit on the top if you want for more volume. And that is it. That is the complete look. I'm gonna turn around and show you guys in the back. I hope it looks good. I hope you can see that good. <laughs> and it looked fine, like it wasn't too bright. So that is the finished look. If you guys want to keep watching me, just subscribe to my channel. Please give it a thumbs up. That helps to spread out my videos to other people that can watch them or that want to watch them. So please give it a like. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos if you want to keep watching more of me so yeah I'm gonna be, uh, be making Ooh, my bird he's everywhere he's a cockatiel so cute oh my god whatever <laughs> he just got into my flowers okay so hmm I have a whole bunch of pets. I can do a video on all my pets too. And he'll definitely be in it. So his name is Suki. <laughs> so if you guys want to watch more of me, of my animals, of Suki, everybody just hit that subscribe button and give it a like, thumbs up, all of that good stuff. Um, I do have a Twitter. I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to follow me on that. I just started it. I just made it. Ooh. There he is. <laughs> oh my god, come here. He likes my hair. Okay, so I just made a Twitter. I don't have any other social medias for now. Maybe I'll make them later. But I just, I do have a Twitter. I'm gonna link it down below. So follow me on that. Uh, please, if you want to. And we all say bye. Bye. Dude, you really want to be in my videos, don't you? You like being the center of attention. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You better not poop on me. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>